guys, Clint Harris here, hanging out at La Selva Mixed Martial Arts. So let's say we've already passed the guard, uh, and we're doing gi. We got past the guard. I already have, maybe you already got Kesekatame, or Katsukatame, whatever, right? Whatever. And then I'm here now, right? So we're here. Now, I mentioned this earlier, how a goal of mine, and I've stolen this from other black belts, obviously my instructor Marcio, is already to have both fouls, right? If I can, without having him know that it's part of my game plan within a five, six minute round to have both of his out also. Cool, so that's, that's what we're setting this up from. I'm already here. Now, uh, most of us know it's psychological, right? It's a psychological game, and probably more so than it's a physical game. So here, I got a good cup on his shoulder, and I'm going for mine. Now, I'm not leaning too far, because I don't want him to bridge hard, but I'm here. My head is here by his hand. I'm not here getting pushed into my throat. I'm here. Now I go for my lapel, he sees it. The whole point of this is to get him to see it. I'm not like trying to hide it from him, I, I unless I choose that that's part of my game in this moment. But in this case specifically, I want him to see it. So I'm going up, he goes for it, right? In this case scenario, or this specific scenario, a little bit lower, yeah, a little bit lower. Because usually they end up on the bottom. I, I do this a lot. Usually people end up on the bottom, where I'm grabbing or close to it. Now I'm gonna go over, right? I'm gonna go over his. I'm gonna grab the same spot if I can. Depending on his strength, my perceived understanding of his strength or size, I will dictate how low I go, okay? If he's um, a little bit, if I, I feel like I'm stronger than him, I might just be you know, way down here. If I feel like he's a little bit stronger, I might go a little bit higher, because it's gonna dictate where I am close to his elbow or not. So I'm here, I'm pushing down. So knuckles to the floor, okay? The knuckles to the floor, and again, if I feel like he might be stronger than me, and strength is part of the game, it's just a matter of when to use it. I might go underneath also a little bit, underneath his shoulder or his arm. If he's a little bit stronger, probably want a little bit closer to his elbow. So I get my grip a little bit higher and then push down. Okay? He flails a little bit, tries to get his arm out now. He's like, oh no. It's part of my game anyway. So now what I'm gonna do is I have friends that are catch wrestlers and they use their catch wrestling involved in this, like black belts that are, uh, that are catch wrestlers. And a lot of people, again, training scenario, be a little bit nicer. If it was a street fight, yeah, there's no niceness. There's no such thing as niceness. So we're here, I'm gonna push over his face. You good? I'm gonna push over, his face is turning, right? I'm gonna sandpaper his face with whatever I'm wearing, and then come down. I can go for the grip, I can go for the lapel, I can just go to grab his, uh, his trap, but I'm not gonna be up here with my elbow. I'm gonna go tight, and then hammer down. Right? As I'm doing hammer down, I'm using my shoulder to push into my elbow. And I'm looking this way, I don't want to be off balance. So I'm not going to be way up here trying to push down like, bah. No, I'm just going to be here, getting lower, my body's shrinking, my shoulder's dragging to my elbow, and I'm pushing down. So we're here, inside control, I have cut this already, I showcased a little bit, I made him look for it, he grabbed it, I went over, I pushed down, I got that good grip. But let's say, let's say he's a little bit stronger than me, and right when I go for the choke, you know, he starts to wiggle quite a bit, and he, and he almost frees himself completely, whatever the case. Let's say it's not secure, meaning this is not here, it's not happening for me. So Marcio, as most of you guys know, Marcio does this choke all the time anyway. So we're here, we go over, sandpaper his face, push it down, be super mean, get the grip, drop. Let's say he starts to move, my choke isn't there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath. I'm gonna grab if I can. Just grab, very simple. Four fingers in if I can, thumb outside. And then I'm gonna start to drop and turn. So it's a small, it's a very small steering wheel. I'm also using my shoulders, not strength. Just leverage. So we're here, my head is down like I'm listening for his airway. And I just, boom. Cool? Yeah? 